All right, so this video we're going to look at finding, uh, or I'm sorry, not finding, but graphing a frequency polygon in Excel. All right, so here you can see that we have some data. Let me fix this. All right, so here we have some data. We have the class limits and this is the these are the lower class limits and these are the upper class limits and this is our frequency. So what we need to do the frequency polygon is we need the midpoints of the intervals of the class limits and then we need the frequency. Now, what I've done is I've put the lower class limit and the upper class limit in different cells. Okay? Because to get the midpoint We'll, we'll use a formula. So to get the midpoint, what we do is we you average the two. So I'll add up the lower class limit and the upper class limit and divide by two. And that gives us the midpoint. And then all we have to do is we can click up here and see how the, the cursor changes when you put it at the bottom right hand corner of the cell. So all I have to do here is double click and it fills the rest of them in. Okay. And then we have the frequency. I'm going to, I mean, I could use this frequency, but I'm going to move it over here and I'll, I'll show you why. So all I need to do is hit equals and then I can just click on this cell and it'll just copy the contents of whatever cell that is. And so I can double click again and it copies everything down. Now, for a frequency polygon, all right, this right here is the midpoints, okay, and here's the frequency. So what we're going to do is we'll highlight the frequency, and then I'll come up here to insert, and I want to insert a line chart, and so we can select, we'll select this one, all right. So here is our here is our frequency polygon. Okay. Now we're going to add the y-axis and label the x-axis, and we'll change the chart title. So first, what I want to do is talk a little bit about the two ends. Now remember, okay. Remember the uh, the be the beginning and end here. Okay. See, this is th this right here represents eleven, and this is for the fourteen point five. Okay. Well, on a frequency polygon, see here, this midpoint would be fourteen point five. Well, if I kept going to the left, what would the next midpoint be? Well, you can see that the midpoints are here are in increments of 10. So the next midpoint, if I went back this way, would be 4.5. And the next midpoint, if I went back this way, would be 54.5. Okay, I'm sorry, 64.5. Well, on a frequency polygon, you have to go to the next midpoint and then put in a frequency of zero because remember the frequency polygon goes to the next midpoint and touches the axis here at zero and same thing on this side. So let's redo this and this midpoint you can highlight these two and then, well, no, can't drag it like that, but let's see, this would be 4.5, and then this would be 64.5, this would be 0, and this would be 0. And now, let's highlight this, go to Insert, and we'll insert a line graph, and then 
and there's our frequency polygon. See, see, this is what we had before just from here to here. But remember, it goes to the next midpoint on either side here and touches the axis. Okay. All right. So now I know the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 7. So what we'll do here is we'll click on this and we'll right click okay and then let's come up here to select data and this box here pops up okay and then we will edit we'll edit this and what what it does is this is the axis labels so I want these to label the points not the one two three and so on so we'll select this this group of cells here and hit OK and OK and you can see it changes and labels it like it's supposed to okay the midpoints and then we can come up here and we can change the chart title we'll just call this frequency polygon and then we can come over here and we can put axis titles so let's click that and you see how we've got a y axis and an x axis and so let's change this to frequency and then this one will change to classes or whatever it's called all right and that's how you draw a frequency polygon in Excel but don't forget I mean here's your frequencies but you've got to add the next the next midpoint below the lowest one and the next midpoint above the highest one and they both have a frequency of zero because it has to come down and touch the axis alright so give me a like share and subscribe and I hope the video helped thanks for watching